moment of your WNBA career for Connecticut until this season. How did you get this team to bond together in this big moment and get the win on this court? Um, just staying together, staying together, weathering the storm. Um, it definitely feels different being on the other side. And um, you obviously feel the great energy that these fans have here, but uh, it's a new chapter now. This was one of the hardest fought games, most physical games I've ever seen. You and Alyssa Thomas just hugged. What did she just say to you? She said I smashed her head. <laughs> but I told her that it wasn't it wasn't intentional. And um, that's one of my closest friends in the league, so it's never that. But just two competitors, two people just playing really hard trying to get a win. This took all of you for the New York Liberty. It was Benajah early, Stewie in the middle, and then you took over late. How did you assert your will on the rebounding particularly? Yeah, that's just my emphasis going into every game. Um, just getting on the boards and being strong in that way and making them feel me. You were in the WNBA Finals last year playing for Connecticut, but now New York for the first time in 20 years will go to the finals because of your performance today. What does that mean to you? It means a lot, but I, I can't take all the credit. My teammates are amazing, obviously, and none of this happens without, without all of us being bought into to what, we, what we envision you know, before the season and, and coming together and making it possible. I know it's a team effort, but you told me earlier this season you had to look yourself in the mirror and decide the kind of player you wanted to be mm -hmm. after the All-Star game. Mm -hmm. What is it? Just a tough player. Like I said, someone that's, that will be felt every night. Um, someone that's there for my teammates. And, yeah, just, just being strong all together. We felt you tonight, JJ. We'll see you in the finals. Thank you, Holly. Thank you. <laughs> well, quite the performance from John Quill Jones. And the finals are set.